Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, retired professor from QSAT. In this video, I am going to present a tetrahedron, a tetrahedron, 50 mm side, which is standing on HP on a side standing on HP on a side which is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. What is inclined at 45 degrees to VP? The side on which it is resting and a triangular face containing this edge makes 30 degrees to HP. A triangular face containing the edge makes 30 degrees to HP. I repeat, a tetrahedron is resting on HP on a side which is inclined at 45 degrees to VP the triangular face or one triangular face containing this edge makes 30 degrees to HP. That's the question. Look at this. Now it is resting on HP on a side. This triangular face, this triangular face containing this edge makes 30 degrees to HP. And I am going to rotate the side. Rotate it so that the side on which it is resting, which is perpendicular to VP now, the side on which it is resting is perpendicular to VP now. I am going to make it 45. Look at this. 45. This is the question. Agreed? Now, this is the simple position which you choose. Simple position. Simple position. Right side edge perpendicular to VP. Look at this. Right side edge BC perpendicular to VP. I draw ABC with BC perpendicular to VP. I draw the elevation. How do I draw the elevation? Project A. A dash. B C B dash C dash. Draw a projector through D. And since this A D is parallel to XY line in the plan, its elevation must be true length. With A dash as center, 50 years radius, cut an arc on the center line to get D dash. So I have drawn the plan and elevation. I will dimension it later. Avsanam dimension here. Now I have to redraw that elevation. How do you redraw this elevation? This elevation and this elevation are geometrically the same. Geometrically the same. So I redraw that elevation and project a plan. Redraw this elevation, project a plan. This plan and this plan are geometrically the same. So I redraw the second plan to get the third plan and then I will draw the final elevation by redrawing method or change of position method. Okay, let's see. I have drawn the simple position plan and elevation. I have drawn the simple position plan and elevation. Now I will redraw that elevation. How do I draw, redraw the elevation? I choose B1 dash C1 dash this corner. Take this distance. I mean, take draw a 30 degree line. Take this distance and mark. Third, take this distance and mark. What do I get? I get A1 dash. Agree? Take this distance and this is a center cut an arc. Take this distance cut an arc. I get what? I get the new elevation or I get the elevation redrawn. Agreed? It doesn't look very good, but let's compromise. Okay. So this is D1 dash. A1 dash, D1 dash, D1 dash, C1 dash. B1 dash, C1 dash, A1 dash, D1 dash. This angle is how much? 30 degrees. The question says the side on which it, the triangular face makes 30 degrees to HP. The triangular face containing that edge makes 30 degrees to HP. So I draw, redraw that elevation and now I project a new plan. How do I project a new plan? Draw vertical projectors now. Draw horizontal projectors. A1, B1, C1, B1. Connect them. This edge on which it is resting is not visible, so that is dotted line. Very clear. Firm. Firm, firm, firm. And this also, firm. 
How is the tetrahedron now? The tetrahedron now is standing on an edge with a triangular face containing that edge making 30 degrees to HP and the edge on which it is resting perpendicular to VP. Now you have to redraw this plan. You have to redraw the plan in such a way that this B1, C1 makes 45 degrees to VP. VP. Therefore, I draw a 45 degree line. Excuse us. Take this distance and mark. Take these two distances and cut R's to get that corner. Take these two distances and cut R's to get this corner. Connect them. Since I am not following exact dimensions, there may be small changes in the actual dimension. This is dotted. Same thing redrawn. What is this angle? This angle is 45 degrees. This is what A2, this is what B2, this is what D2, and this is what C2. You have to mark the points the same order. A, B, A, B, D, C. Count the blockers. A, B, C, D, C. Count the blockers. Don't change that order. It will you will completely wrong, go wrong in the final elevation. Okay, that is something which you have to be very careful about. Now draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. A2, A1 dash, A2 dash, B2, B1 dash, B2 dash, C2, C1 dash, C2 dash, D, D2, D1 dash, D2 dash. Now you have to make the visible edges firm. You have to make the visible edges firm and the invisible edges dotted. How will you decide what is visible and what is not visible? It is resting on this side. side. This portion, this corner A is lifted up so that when you look from this side, this portion will be visible. A, B, C will be visible. Agreed? This is the physical boundary that has to be visible. This is the physical boundary that also cannot be dotted. It has to be firm. Sorry. And this become dotted. If you, are, if you are particular to mark this point, this you can mark as O dash, this as O1 dash, and uh, this as O1, this as O, and uh, this point uh, here as O2, and you can mark that also O2 dash, so that that can be Mark the set chain line. It is one of the axes. One of the axes. There are four axes, you know. That is one of the axes. It's not necessary. I just showed it that. So that is one of the axes. Axes are represented by a line, a dot, a line, a dot, and so on. Go to that. This is a this is a simple question that has come for university exams numerous times. Not a difficult question. Now, when you rotate this, I have rotated this in this order. You can rotate it in this order also, so that this 45 degree line comes in this direction. This 45 degree line, I have brought like this. This 45 degree line can be brought in the other, other direction also, like this also. This I have brought like this. This 45 degree line. Instead, you can bring it like this. So that the apex will come here. This point, this point will come here. And there will be slight change in the shape of the elevation. Nothing is mentioned in the question, so you can move it in either direction. Whichever direction you want, you can move. So this is called what? Tetrahedron resting on a side, which is making 45 degrees to VP, and the triangular face containing the side making 30 degrees to HP. This is used. Uh, this, this, has, this has come for university examinations numerous times. 
and uh, it's a comparatively easier question why it is easy there are only four points on the solid lesser the number of points easy to draw or quicker you can draw isn't it so since there are four points you can draw this in five to six minutes actually if you draw fast you can draw it in five to six minutes that's advantage if you take a hexagonal prism there are six plus six plus two 14 points whereas this has got only four points so that comparison in time consumed is very important i hope you understand We will draw, this is called what, change of position method or redrawing method. I will draw the same question by auxiliary projection method also. We will draw the same question by auxiliary projection method also. Now, before going to auxiliary projection method, in some textbooks you can see this kind of problems where axis is inclined to both planes. In some of the textbooks they use the two methods combined together. That is up to this they use redrawing and afterwards they use auxiliary projection method. I do not advise that method because in many question papers I have seen questions specifying the method. If you learn that very thoroughly and ignore the other methods you will end up in trouble. But if nothing is mentioned you can do that way also. So I am going to draw this. I am going to draw this by the combined method. That means this much is okay. Redrawing method is okay. I have drawn this up to this by a redrawing method. The remaining part I am going to draw by auxiliary projection method. Just like what is worked out in, in uh, just to explain you what is worked out in some of the books. So what I do is I extend this and somewhere I draw a 45 degree line. And I call this x1 by 1. This is xy. I can draw this x1 by 1 at 45 degrees like that, or I can draw x2, x2, x1 by 1 here also. Extend this downwards and draw x1 by 1 here. Now I have extended it upwards and drew x1 by 1 there because there is sufficient space there. Drawing it in that direction will be clean, neat and clean. It will not uh, confuse you because you are going to draw what? An elevation. If I draw the elevation there, elevation xy plan, it's okay. If I draw the elevation here, what happens? Elevation comes below x y that may confuse some of the students, therefore I am preferring to that side. Okay. So after drawing that, what I will do? I draw projectors perpendicular to x1 y1 like this from all points of the plan. Now take the distance of the elevation point and mark it on the respective projector. A dash, a1 dash, this much away. A1. I will call here also A1 dash. O dash, O1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, where is D? The projector comes somewhere here, D1 dash. Now we can connect. How do we connect? The base is, the, the, this base is lifted so the base will be visible. Same thing, same argument, same argument. A, B, C will be visible. A, B, C will be visible. Plan x y elevation. So this is what is what is called a combined method, combining redrawing method and auxiliary projection method. I hope you understand. If you are finding this useful, please subscribe my channel, like it, and share it among your friends. Okay. Thank you.